in this tutorial, we are going to learn the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is an advanced form of lookup functions in Excel. It can do the work of both VLOOKUP as well as HLOOKUP function without their limitations. For example, as we know, in case of VLOOKUP function, the lookup value has to be in the left column so that VLOOKUP function can find value in the left column and can return value from any of the right side columns. But this is not the limitation of XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP function can return value from any side, from right side, from left side, from top or from the bottom side. Here we have a database in which we have employee ID, employee name, unit sold, unit price, total sale and region. Let's say here for any of the employees we need to find out the total sales and employee ID. How we can find out total sales and employee ID using XLOOKUP function. We will add here XLOOKUP function open parenthesis. You can see in XLOOKUP function we have total 6 arguments. Out of these 6 arguments we have 3 arguments that are required. The 3 arguments these are optional. So first argument lookup value. This is the employee name based on which we want to bring here sales. So comma. Second argument lookup array. We will simply select the column in which we have our lookup value. As this is employee name, we will simply select the column in which we have employee name. Comma. Third argument return array. As we want to return here total sales, we will select the column in which we have total sales. Close parenthesis. Here you can see we didn't add anything for exact or approximate match. Why? Because XLOOKUP by default functions as exact match. So we have done the close parenthesis, enter and we got here total sales for this employee. Now let's say we need to find out employee ID for this employee as well. Equal XLOOKUP function open parenthesis lookup value employee name comma lookup array employee column in which we have employee name comma now return array as we want to return here employee id we will select column in which we have employee id close parenthesis here you need to pay attention that return array is on the left side and the lookup array is on the right side meaning x lookup function will find value or lookup value here and then will return the result from the left column this is the limitation of VLOOKUP function but this is not the limitation of XLOOKUP function. If we would have been used VLOOKUP function here for this case, VLOOKUP function would have given us the error but this is not the limitation of XLOOKUP function. If we press the enter, it will give us employee ID. Now let's say if we have an employee ID or we have such a lookup value that XLOOKUP cannot find, here we have the error message but in XLOOKUP function, we can also provide here custom message or custom result instead of error. For example, here as this employee name is not found, maybe we can add here employee not found. Enter and here you can see instead of error, here we have the custom result. Similarly, here we have error because XLOOKUP function cannot find this employee name here. So here again, we can add our custom result. In case, the value of not found, we can add here employee not found. Quotation mark, enter and here instead of error, we can have here the custom message. If we change the employee name, it will give us result. But if we have here employee name that XLOOKUP function cannot find here, it will give us this custom result. Here we have the same data but in transposed form in order to use XLOOKUP function instead of HLOOKUP function. Here we can choose any of the employee name to find total sales again we will use xlookup function open parenthesis lookup value obviously employee name we will select the lookup array we will select the row in which we have employee name comma return array as we need to return here total sales we will select the row in which we have total sales close parenthesis enter and here we go using xlookup function instead of hlookup function we have found the total sales for this employee similarly for employee id we will use xlookup function open parenthesis lookup value comma lookup array select the row in which we have employee name comma return array as we want to bring here employee id we will select the row in which we have employee id close parenthesis enter so that's it this is the xlookup in a nutshell it's faster more powerful and way more flexible than older lookup functions. Give it a try in your own Excel sheets and you will see how much time it saves you. 
If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like this and don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends.